Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and today I want to continue taking a look at the default event templates that can be used in RPG Developer Bakin. At this point, if you are an intermediate or advanced user, you may not learn much from this overall sort of tour of events. However, it's always good to review the fundamentals, and if you just got Bakin or are considering getting it, you'll be able to see what it can do right out of the box with almost no effort on your part. So we'll start by looking at the map editor, and on the right side of the screen, we see at the top terrains objects and events tabs and we're going to click on the events tab today I want to go over all of the stores and ends events as well as all of the searchables events all of the event categories have the custom event at the very top for stores and ends First, we have store, place behind the counter. The store function executes once spoken to. It allows conversation to be engaged from one step away. So even placing the clerk behind the counter will allow conversation to take place. And up to six types of items can be selected for sale. All of these default events can be converted to custom events where you can edit their parameters further in an advanced setting where you can actually change the parameters of each event panel. But beware, once you go to it being a custom event, you can never go back. Of course, you can just delete the event and place a new event that has been templated to get back to this screen. So let's begin. You can edit the clerk graphic and the large graphic, which is optional. This refers to the bust portrait, for example, of the character to whom you are speaking. If you do choose to select a bust graphic, you'll notice in the preview that it sort of renders in this 3D space. However, during play, it will be placed in the correct spot right next to the message box. You can edit the clerk's dialogue as well as edit the clerk's dialogue when leaving the shop, and you can set up the six items up to that the clerk can sell here. And again, if you need more than that, you can always convert this to a custom event. Find and click on the display store and check results and add the items for sale here. Next, we've got the store place at the counter event. This one is the exact same event, except it can't be interacted with up to one tile away. So this is more ideal for when you want to approach a seller directly. Other than that, it has the exact same parameters. And next we have in place behind the counter. You'll notice that that's going to be a running theme. There's going to be two versions of most of these events, one that you can place behind a counter and one that you'll have without having a counter in between the player and the event. For the inn, you can change the lodging fee as well as the innkeeper graphic and optional bust graphic. The innkeeper's dialogue, the innkeeper's dialogue should you choose to stay and dialogue should you choose to not stay. There is the corresponding inn place at the counter with the exact same parameters. Next up we have inn cure poison place behind the counter and this functions identically to the inn, except it will also cure the poison status of your party members. If you convert this one to a custom event, you can see that it is the same. Logically, it just has the cure state change checked. And according to the text that pops up, if checked, they will recover from the poison state when they stay. There is a corresponding in cure poison place at the counter with identical functionality. Then we have the in recover all place behind the counter event. You can edit all of the exact same parameters. The way that this one differs from the others is that it can recover your party members from KO which the other ones do not do by default. It has a corresponding in recover all place at the counter with the exact same attributes that can all be edited. Next up, we have the stationary traveling merchant event, but this has the exact same parameters as the store place at the counter event. So use whichever one you want, I guess. Next, we have the walking traveling merchant, and this one is the exact same as the other merchant, except this merchant will walk around on the map. You can convert this to a custom event if you would like to change their movement speed movement pattern, movement frequency, or limit the movement range on the map, prevent them from walking into a one tile wide space or anything like that. Finally, we have the stationary traveling innkeeper and the walking traveling innkeeper. That concludes the stores and inns events that are included in RPG Developer Bakin. You can use these as templates to make your own much more complex versions of the events. But wait, there's more. Now we're going to take a look at all of these searchables. And for searchables, we of course have the custom event at the very top, as well as treasure chest, get money. This is a very simple event. You configure how much money is in the treasure chest, and then you can change the graphic. If you don't want to change the graphic, the default graphic of the chest opening and the lock falling off will work fine for most cases. You can of course change this to a custom event if you'd like for more things to happen. What that simple view doesn't tell you is that this will actually play a sound effect, change the graphic of the chest, add the 50 gold to your possession, wait for two seconds, play a sound effect again, this time the sound effect of you collecting the gold, 
display a message saying that you got 50 gold, and then it will turn a switch on so that you cannot obtain another 50 gold by searching the chest again. Next, there's treasure chest get item, and this is the same thing, but it allows you to set an item to be obtained as well as the pronoun that refers to that item. Next is treasure chest get important item. This one is functionally the same, but the fanfare that plays is a little bit different as well as the effect that displays on the chest when you open it. It indicates that there is something very important that's being collected here. Save this one for your key items. A treasure chest with a message this time just allowing you to set a message to be gotten whenever the player opens this chest. A treasure chest that is empty. This is functionally identical to the previous chest, it just has a different message to display whenever the player checks it. A chest that is hiding a monster inside. This is treasure chest check to battle, escapable. As the name implies, you can escape this. But if you lose the fight, the game is over. You can select which monster the hero has to fight as well as the battle background. In addition to the treasure chest graphic, a message when opening the treasure chest and a reward item for winning. Next we have a very similar set of events. This is dresser get money and it has the same parameters as the treasure chest get money. There is also a dresser get item event, a dresser message event, and a dresser empty event all with parameters that are the exact same as their treasure chest counterparts. Next there is the vase get money, vase get item, and vase empty events. The table get money, table get item, table message, and table nothing events. Now we have a set of bed events, starting with bed recover. This event allows you to change the graphic of the bed, a confirmation message when checking the bed, and a message after resting in the bed. Converting this to a custom event shows that the player is actually given a choice. So they'll see a yes and no dialogue after being asked the question in the confirmation message when checking the bed field. Next we have a bed get money event. You can edit the money found in bed as well as the graphic just like the chests, pots, tables, and treasure chests. Bed get item and bed nothing. Finally we have some slightly different utility with the sign message event. The sparkle on the ground get important item event. This one defaults to a sparkle graphic that can be very useful for just letting your player know that there's something important that they need to go over there and pick up and a message that you can customize as well as the item to be picked up and the items pronoun the stuffed toy message this one's a bit different as you can customize the stuffed toys graphic as well as its large graphic in case you would like for the stuffed toy to have a bust to represent it speaking and then the stuffed toy dialogue can also be customized there is sadly a grave message and finally an event that allows you to display message if checked. This one's pretty similar to all of the other ones that just display messages, but it defaults to having no graphic at all. You can, of course, change that. And this concludes the very simple set, very identical set of events found in the stores and inns, as well as the searchables categories in RPG Developer Bakken. Please consider subscribing for more Premier Bakken education. After this particular run-through and tour of events, we will be getting into intermediate event topics, so please stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, for now.